Most of the time, in fact all of the time, architects and interior designers are always banging on about how much natural light you need in your home, and you do. But there is one room in the house that actually relies on darkness. In fact, the more cave-like, the better. It's the home theatre, and it's one of the only rooms best planned on the shady side of your home. Now, to get the full experience, you need to surround yourself in darkness, but I'm not a fan of pure black on the walls. It becomes too overbearing and, and disorientating. But this is kind of cool. I keep driving on, I keep driving on, I keep driving on creating a little galaxy in the home. And it's done by drilling little holes in acoustic ceiling board and putting fibre optic cable there. But literally, you can sit here and surround yourself with the stars. Perhaps though we want a space with a little more flexibility, effectively somewhere that works well also with the lights on. And that's where we get away with lighter coloured walls offset with the dark charcoals, a dark brown, but I love the deep red burgundy. That's the colour you get in cinemas. Just adds class and a bit of glamour. Now, a quick tip of choosing the right size television for the size of the room, because it always can be confusing. A simple way of doing it is work out the size of your television according to the diagonal dimension. This is 190 centimetres. Therefore, we sit one and a half to two and a half times back that distance for ultimate viewing. The other way to look at it is work out your furniture arrangement, that distance back to the wall, and divide by two. That gives us the perfect size seating arrangement for your room. Just a matter of then pouring a cold one, taking a load off, and seeing what's on. Well, we start 